Hello everyone, hi. So we're here today to speak about, I'm not going to say this right, Oli Henrinsen or Oli Henrinsen or Oli Henrinsen, wherever they call, I love them. I know this brand for about three, no, two years now. So I have a lot of products. I've been trying them for two years, super obsessed with them. I think it's one of the best finds that I ever had. I talked to the, about these products with so many of my friends and they all got so addicted to them that I thought it was really good for me to do a review. Also because I'm really addicted to all these YouTube videos and I don't think it's many good, too many reviews apart of the two main products. It's a lot of products on the line that no one really talks about and I like to talk about them. So my first and the biggest one is the True Serum Collagen Buster Booster with vitamin C. As you can see, I got the big bottle. Um, that's the best thing ever is a serum, sort of quite a dry serum, I would say. It has vitamin C and since I've been using it, I do have a lot of... Um, freckles in my skin and I know they kind of trendy sometimes and people actually put them as a makeup but I don't like them and I find like the sense I've been using this serum daily all my skin is been much brighter much glowy the my skin color is much more even um, I use this always after my toner and before my daily cream and I absolutely love it. I've been using this for, yeah, two years, two years now, and I love it. The only thing about it is, it's quite, it's not, it's pricey, but it's not crazy. Um, the best thing is get bigger bottles, but the only thing with the bigger bottles is that the pump kind of puts too much in your hand, and with the big bottle, with the a one pump every time you use it as fast, as a tiny bottle so I find that the small bottle the palm is smaller and what you get out with one palm is the perfect size for one application so what I do is I had the little palm first and then I bought this and used it in the same time I used that and I used to find that when you put too much your skin gets too kind of too sticky so now what I do is I just fill the little one from the big one and I use it from the small one I don't know if that can have any sense but yes I buy the big one because it's cheaper you get better value for your money transpass it to the small one and use this one next favorite thing um, my second favorite thing is the African red tea for I mean, cleanser I love this cleanser I got two years ago i think it was all the time when i got those selfies and they got all these brands i got into claire sonic second best buy ever and when i bought this i got really obsessed on finding the best cleanser that you can use with this because the cleanser they used to use before and um, wasn't maybe the best to use with the brush so i bought different brands and obviously when i got into holly Henrin skin, I tried the African Red Fuami cleanser and that's really great. The good thing about this, you just kind of pump it and it just stays there. And the way I do this is that you just pop it in your face and little bits of this foam stays in your face and then you start with your Clarisonic and it's like really easy and it stays there and it doesn't form much more so it doesn't go into your eyes or your nose. But at the same time, that's a really good thing. And the good thing is it smells so nice. It smells really nice. And obviously when you're forming your face in the shower, all the smell goes to your face and you want to use something that actually smells nice. So, so far, so good. Love this. I think it's probably my fourth bottle. Love it. Next one is one that they stop producing. But for the UK shoppers, the good thing is Debenhams, they still have it. I literally bought my a new one, I think it was last week. 
um, and the, it's just a really good thing. I got this thing one Christmas I got in Selfridges in sale a big box of this brand and everything I think it was like 40 quid and I had so many things and things I probably would have never tried and one of these things was the truth is in the eyes eye peel so obviously in that box I had plenty of things and I had this eye peel so I started using it it's the same as a serum that it's a pill for your skin and the only thing that's going to do is like it's just going to kind of help to it's like a chemical pill but really soft they're just going to help every day to uh, all your lines and everything to just get smoother and your eyes brighter um, I'm I'm quite lucky that I don't have much uh, lines I don't know if it's because I'm obsessed with all these creams and my regimes are really crazy or because I got a good skin um, and also I'm quite lucky I don't have much dark eyes so mainly what I like to do is use any creams that are just helping to prevent lines at the minute um, and I found that that worked really well but at the beginning I started using this and I wasn't really convinced because it really made my skin quite dry and, and I felt like my skin was really dry and quite tight so what I done it was look, it, look for a really really creamy eye cream that I use a different cream that is not from the same brand and with this I always use this as a pill that it makes like a really good base and then over the top I use a creamy eye treatment with avocado from Kales and these two are my two heroes for my eyes for the day and I find that this makes kind of all the helping with the lines making it tighter um, like when I finished this last month and I just bought this last week like I had like a little bump coming in my eyes and I started using it again it just gone away again and then I put this over the top that's really creamy it doesn't do anything else about a part of irritating but that makes the rest of the job so I put first this and there's that and then this and it just did the best thing combination best thing together next one we got the long list here uh, is the invigorating night treatment overnight resurface uh, something this lovely green bottle so this is an invigorating night treatment um, I had this I tried it I thought well not sure about it kind of left it and then in a video of someone I saw that it's supposed to just you need to put it and then in the top you need to put your night cream I thought oh, I'm gonna give it a try and then I done it for a while and I felt like whatever cream I put afterwards it just worked much better but then I got bored again of it again and I noticed all my pores gone quite big again and since I gone back to use this for now another month I think what it really does I it have like 12 source of AHA complex whatever that means it just really helps that your skin gets really tight it really makes like your pores go much more refined it helps to your skin get really well prepared for whatever night cream you're gonna put it just makes like um, like it helps that the cream really makes all the effect to your skin so I really really like this for tonight and if you got like pores but nothing too extreme but you still feel like you got quite a bit of pores pores in here that really really helps to use on night in the night and when you put it it always feels like your skin feels like it's tightening I don't know I just felt like I, I use I, I don't use it and I'm like oh, I'll be fine I don't use it for a month or two my skin goes a bit like nah. put it again and my skin goes so smooth and after like a week using it you can notice the difference so really like that and then the other wonder is three wonders they always say it's three wonders it's the true serum the invigorated night cream and the third wonder is the sheer transformation so with these three the reason I tried both the three of them is because they these brand usually sell really nice packages um, and one of the typical packages is the three wonders and is the serum the other serum and the sheer transformation cream it's a really good really really good uh, 
cream. It just, I don't know what this cream does, but it just really helps. It's really thin, really lightweight, but it really helps to make your skin really nice and glowy and it's really irritated at the same time. So obviously I really like to have SPF in my skin. So I would use this when it's really hot in summer. So you get your skin, it's not like really sticky. Um, but at the same time, then I'll use my 50 SPF cream in the top. Um, or I would use it in winter, like when sometimes I don't fancy my proper thick uh, night cream, I put it, or like in winter when I don't want an SPF, I'll use it. So it's kind of, when I'm not, I don't fancy anything else, I'll go for this one. Um, yes. It's like a really, it's for all skin, uh, skin types, it's anti-aging, it has some vitamin C as well, it has liquid root and pea extract, really like that one, I just find it like really lightweight, nice, easy going on your skin and it's for day or night, so it's the other one that you usually take on holidays because then you take one cream that you can use at day and at night and it works wonders in both and then for basic routines um, I got a couple of more things to review but that I don't have anymore because I finished them and that's I didn't got probably a YouTube channel back then when to do my empties videos so I'm just gonna speak about them so I use the pick me up tonic um, it's kind of from the same line of the True Serum Collagen Booster um, and I didn't love that one. I use it. I tend to use all my products fully. I'm not someone that just buys some, well, sometimes, but most of the time I try to do good research, buy something and I use the whole bottle and I didn't really love it. I don't know if it's not for my skin type. I don't know if it just wasn't for me. I used the whole bottle, but I remember by the middle of it, you know, when you use it in your cotton pad, you put your, it's like with a spray, and I would just spray like five times just to see if I could run out of it as soon as possible. So that one would be one that I actually would not recommend. Um, I didn't thought that it was a good price value for it. So did a lot of one, used it all, I'm not going to buy it again, but in that tone, as I loved, like while I was working in Selfridges, I just loved to stop into that stand and speak with the girls and just always ask about all the new products. And um, when that happened, they recommend me a different toner. They didn't got that one in Selfridges and um, they had it in, I think it's in John Lewis and it's the African Red Tea face mist and it's like the toner that goes in the same light as the cleanser it smells as gorgeous as the cleanser it smells really nice the bottle is smaller and it's a bit expensive but the way the girl put it is that it have some more like um i don't know it had more benefits it was a bit more like for mature skin and a bit for a, it gave you more benefits and I literally finished this one, I think I finished it like three months ago and I'm so sad I don't have it and I know it's in my shopping list to buy really soon. The next one is the Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, three in one, cleansing, cleansing, gilly, whatever it's called, gilly? I don't know how to pronounce that. So this is a lovely jar with a really jelly orange gel and the only thing that you, it's really good to cleanse your eyes and your lipstick and the way I would use it I just put a scoop a little bit put a little bit in every one of my eyes a little bit in my lips I would just scrub my lips would scrub my eyes I would look like a really strange panda with big I usually use red lipstick but a lot of lipstick in my mouth and then I would just get a uh, cleansing wipe and then I would wipe everything off and it would just come off so easily because usually with a cleansing wipe you just can be rubbing your eyes for hours and if you have like a proper 
waterproof mascara and eyeliner, it just takes forever and you lose half of your eyelashes and you end up with really red eyes and I hate that. So that was really good. The only thing I would say about it is that sometimes when you use it, I felt like it was a bit abrasive to my eye and I would feel like that my eye was felt a bit like, I don't know, it was okay. I'm still like finding that I, even I loved it. I could maybe find a better one from a different brand. So that one is one that I'm kind of not quite convinced that is in my shopping list at the minute. Then another one that I got from that lovely basket I got in Christmas is the Wrap and Buff Sal Scrub Energizing Sea Soul Exfoliant with Lemongrass and Lavender Oil. It's this lovely big bottle. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells like lemongrass, but it doesn't smell much to lavender because I don't love lavender and I love the smell. So this is an exfoliating bath, bath soap. And for what I use this the more, more is for my hands. I work in retail, my hands look awful all the time. They look like 10 years older than I am. And what they do is I get a, maybe every couple of days I get a little bit of this, I got it always literally next to my sink. I get a bit of this and I really exfoliate my hands with it. And my hands just become like 15, younger, 15 years younger than they look. They just get so soft, so like all the little marks, they go away. It just stays really irritated. I used it a couple of times in my body, but it's just so good for my hands. That if I use it for my body, I use so much of it. And I just want to use it a bit more sparingly and somewhere that I can see it much more. So I end up just using it in my hands. There is, I see such a difference. I just don't want to finish it. And as, I, as you can see, I'm halfway through. And if I use it for my body, I, this would go in five baths. But if I use it for my hands, I have for a while. So I love, love, love this for my hands. Um, I know someone would say there's a bit lavish having a scrap for your hands, but if you work in retail like I do, or you like doing things with your hands or painting, or if you're an artist or anything like it, believe me, you need one because your hands go like bad if you work with, as I do, with hangers and everything, opening boxes, moving mannequins, you need one of these. And then another three that I got, um, the little, little things from that box. One is, I think that's first, that's a walnut complexion scrap, little one. I have to say I'm quite, the, I'm quite special with the scraps. Um, I don't love that. I have other scraps, have other favorite scraps in my, in my list. I had this for easily a year and a half didn't use much as you can see so I don't have much to say um, I will probably not buy this and then you got the lemon strip blush pill um, I haven't used this that much I used it a couple of times I guess it's good I don't I don't love it I don't hate it I'm a bit indifferent I think the daily routine products are much better. But then I got the power pill. I had another one of these, I just used it once. And that have a almond polish as a step one. Have the lemon strip that inside of the steps was quite good. And then what happens is the almond polish is really strong, like you make a really invigorating exfoliation. Then you put your lemon strip and it really tightens your skin. And then your skin feels a little bit like it's been tortured a little bit. Um, and then you got the chamomile comfort. It's just a really lovely mask and irritating and calming. And I have to say, when I use this, my skin looked fabulous after, like amazing after using it. Um, I didn't use it yet because I'm kind of waiting. It was quite strong, so you cannot use it like 
just before going to the sun or to the park. So I think your skin will be a bit like delicate after this. Um, but I'm getting married in September and I'm sort of waiting. I'm thinking to maybe keep it to do it a few days before that. And I think my skin will look really, really good. So I'm, th I'm thinking to just keep that uh, for them. And it is really good for when you want, or even, so I got two weddings, one in London, one in Barcelona. So I'm thinking to probably keep it for the one in London. And when I'm there, I'll try to get a pamper before the main wedding. Um, so yeah, I'm keeping this for a really good opportunity. And I think uh, it's really good for whenever you want like something special and you, you have something special to do and you want a proper pickup and like a spa treatment uh, thing to do in your face. Um, so that was everything about Oli Henry and Skin. Um, the main places that you can buy this in, I'll put it all down below. Uh, if you're in America, you're on the lag because they, their main spa is in California and the American website have the best offers ever. Um, I got a friend that lives in Bend, Oregon and when I go to visit, she always, I always do the biggest shoppings and she receive massive boxes from this brand and I get there and I literally bring them all back and they just the best to make give you extra presents so you get if you spend 50 pounds they would give you a lot of little goodies and things to try so i always keep an eye when i'm going to states i always keep an eye on what are the offers and then i always do a big shopping and i save a lot of money they got really good um sets that you can save money with them so even if it's a quite pricey brand i find that then later you can get really good offers with them um, but yeah I'm gonna leave this down below all the links where you can buy it in the UK all the links where you can buy it in the States and yeah loving the brand just give it a try you would love it bye Baby! Baby! You want to come and help me to see how I need to do that? Yes, ma'am. I probably hate the whole video and I'll need to redo it again. I think so. Well, probably not this one. Who you stop this one? Okay.